Today's video was filmed by Modesto Fire Department. I am so glad we have a narrator from this fire department to explain what they were thinking, what they were doing, and what their plan of attack was. So when I dispute their actions, no one can say, you don't know what was going on. These companies arrived on scene of a single family dwelling with fire showing from the garage portion of the house. They decided to attack the seat of the fire, which was a good call. But how they engaged the incident is what I call into question. By their own admission, the fire was concentrated in the garage portion of the house. Now every single firefighter watching this video knows that you identify the seat of a fire and attack it. An aggressive fire attack along with vertical ventilation. The building had self-ventilated. All they needed to do is get water on the seat of the fire. Let's look at their hose line. An inch and three quarter hose line with what looks like a 80 to 100 GPM straight stream tip. Next, the firefighter sits in the front yard and sprays water at the surface fire on the roof. Unacceptable. I'm sorry, but you must engage the fire and try to get at its seat. Get in there and attack it quickly. The faster you are, the more beneficial effect you are going to have on the overall incident. I'll be the first one to admit there is more than one way to extinguish a fire, but this is, however, not one of them. I offer this as an alternative. Pull your inch and three quarter hose line with a 200 GPM spray tip. You have the flexibility to use a straight stream or spray stream, and here you could have used both with twice the amount of water. Next, while you are setting up your hose line, Another firefighter from either the truck or the engine could have or should have been cutting open the garage door. Once he completed the forcible entry, the hose line firefighter makes entry to the garage. Once he completed the forcible entry, the hose line firefighter should make entry into the garage. The truck should have been taking a secondary hose line into the house to cut off the spread of the fire into the attic because it had already self-ventilated and this fire would have been a done deal. But that did not happen. The narrator tries to blame the change in wind conditions as to the reason this house burned up. Wrong. If they would have arrived on scene and aggressively attacked the fire with a standard set of SOPs, standard operating procedures, I'm sure they would have made short work of this incident. Every major metropolitan firefighter with five years or more on the job that sees this video knows what I am saying is true and it needs to be pointed out. We must do better.